MATLAB Basics 11 is going to look at how we produce figures which are then going to be put into reports. So we're going to step away from focusing on MATLAB coding. Instead, we're going to look at MATLAB as a tool in report writing and presentation. So a key advantage in MATLAB is it provides an effective environment for creating figures that are very useful for supplementing reports, posters and presentations. This resource is going to look at some simple tricks, I emphasize that, simple tricks, to ensure you get a nice looking figure that's easy to read in your report or poster, whatever it is you want. So, first we're going to advise the reader to make sure they've been through the MATLAB Basics 6 resource, which focuses on plotting itself. We're not going to redo how do you plot. So we're going to assume that you can already produce a plot. The focus here is on how you edit these plots so that they look good in reports and posters and presentations. Now I should emphasize the focus here is on principles not on saying that the examples are the best you can do. So let's start with a typical MATLAB figure here. Now first of all you'll notice a problem with this. Why have we got all this junk? this grey border and all these icons and things and this is a typical student mistake they basically copy the figure window and then they say how do I get rid of all this junk well the answer is you need to use the copy figure option so you go to the edit button here if you select that edit button then a copy figure option will appear so you select that copy figure option once you've done that the figure will move into the clipboard and now it can be pasted directly into a document. And this way of doing things removes all the unwanted borders in the figure. So we've got an example here and you can see this figure here which is exactly the same figure. We haven't got any of the grey background, any of the unwanted icons. We've just got the figure itself and that was very easy. Just go to the edit button and then select copy figure. So that's step number one. What happens, however, if you want a figure in LaTeX or some other environments where you have to import the figure as an image? In this case, you might want the image to be a JPEG or an EPS file or some other format. Well, MATLAB allows you to save figures directly into these formats. No messing about. It's a two second job. So again, you go to one of the options at the top, but this time you go to the option which says file. So you select file and then under that you select the option which says save as. Once you've done that this window here appears the save as and you'll notice at the bottom that you have all these alternative file types that you can save the figure as. So simply choose the file type that you want and then press save. So. The next item, which is really, really important where students mess up quite often, is figure sizing. So one of the poorly understood issues with MATLAB figures is that the size of the figure window affects what the figure or the image looks like when you copy it into Word or PowerPoint or any other format, including EPS and JPEG. So in the next slide, we're going to show how the identical figure copied across with different initial window sizes gives a totally different image in your report. So you've got to remember this is the identical figure but all we've done is change the window size and when that figure comes across to Word or PowerPoint it looks totally different. So here's the image we get with one figure size. Here's the image you get with a different figure size. Here's the image we get with a different figure size. And what do you notice about these plots. Well one of the key things you notice for example is the title. In the top left the title is just about readable. In this one here it's almost readable and this one here it's too small. What about these ticks on the axis? Well in the top left they're definitely readable. This one here they're beginning to get a little bit small and this one here they're totally unreadable. They're far too small. So. What we're going to do now is a live demonstration so that you can see how these differences arose. So first of all, 
will open our plotting window and you can see here we've got the same three figures copied into words so you can see you get the same result but what I'm going to do is go down here get a new page and we'll use this new page to demonstrate the point so next we'll go to MATLAB and we'll go to MATLAB Basics 11B. So this basically produces this figure in three different sizes. Figure 3, Figure 4, Figure 5. So let's just run it. <coughs> so this is Figure 5. Figure 5 you can see I've essentially got the whole screen so I've got a very large figure window. So what I'm going to do now, go Edit, Copy Figure, and then I'm going to go to my Word document and I'm going to put it in my Word document. Now, of course, it's a bit too big here. We only want it to be on about half the column, so we shrink it. So it occupies about half the column. And what do you notice now? I can't read anything. Everything is too small. So if we go back to MATLAB and say, all right, let's have a look at figure four. Well, figure four, the window's not quite so big now. You can see it's slightly smaller. So I edit that one. I copy the figure. Go back to my Word document and paste this one in and now bring it back down to the size which is roughly the size I want and you can see it's still a bit too big I can just about read these labels now but they're still far too small so now let's go to the final option which is figure 3 and you'll notice this figure 3 window is very very small I'm not using hardly any of the screen at all but you'll notice the difference so now if I copy figure and go to my Word document and paste this in and now shrink that down to the same size as the others what's the difference? I can still read it I can still read all these labels, I can still read the title so what's the key message you've learned there? choose the size of your figure window before you copy so you see as I change the size of the figure window the result I get when I come to a fixed size in my final report is very very different and all of these figures have got an identical font size you can see that font size there is the same as that font size there the font size down here is the same as the font size down there so when you shrink them to fit into uh, MATLAB in, sorry into your PowerPoint that's when you get a problem so observations think this is the key thing. Think about the size the figure will be, will occupy in your final report and poster and size your figure window on the screen accordingly. Recognize that after including the figure into your report, almost inevitably you're going to have to change its size a bit to fit. If you want it in single column or double column, you're going to have to change its size to fit. And as a consequence, you're going to be shrinking the fonts, the labels, the axis markers, the line widths. So, can you create a figure that will not need to be scaled very much? Because if you can, then if you can read it in MATLAB environment, you'll also be able to read it in the report environment. Ask what font size you want in your final document and how are you going to achieve this? Well, the way to achieve it is to get the right font size in the MATLAB window and make sure that you don't have to change the MATLAB figure when you move it across. So we're going to give some basic recommendations that work if you want a figure that occupies roughly half the column of an A4 report and that's a typical figure size that's not totally swamping a document and many documents are in double column A4 so that will fit into one of those columns. So make the figure window in MATLAB quite small and I'm going to demonstrate what I mean by quite small compared to a typical screen so that the detail and the size of the figure is representative of what will be easy to read in your final report. Always make the line widths at least two because otherwise if you try and print it out hard copy often the lines disappear or quite hard to read and make all your font sizes to be around 12 to 16 or possibly bigger that's a, a personal decision really. So we're going to give a live example in a minute, but first let's look at the figures. So here's a figure that we get if we use the default options from MATLAB. So this is a figure produced by MATLAB Basics 11. So I've got a fairly small window and these are the default font sizes. So you could argue, well, this is perhaps readable. You could argue that these lines are readable. You could argue that these 
points on the left, uh, sorry, the axis labels and everything, you can argue they're readable, but actually this figure is quite large. It's occupying most of this screen. Now, how would this look in Word, especially if I went to single column? So we're going to look at that in a moment. Here's an alternative figure. So what's the difference here? You might think this looks a bit messy, in fact, but first let's have a look at what I've done. I've made the line width 2. I've made all the font sizes 16, and you could argue 16 is on the large side, but the key point here is to emphasize the points. And I've made the marker size 10. OK, so let's go and look at how we actually did this. And then what we'll do is we'll look at how it looks in the Word document. So first of all, here's my file. So if I run this file, and you'll see I've got two windows which are relatively small compared to my screen size. The default, this is the MATLAB default if I don't do anything, and you can see the fonts are fairly small, the lines are fairly narrow, and so on. And here's the alternative, same window size, but everything looking just a bit bolder, just a bit blown up. So now let's look at how they are if we go to our Word document, these two figures. So if I copy these across to my Word document, here's the first one with a MATLAB default. And what do you notice? Once I've put this in single column, yes, I can just about read these numbers at the bottom, just about read the X label and the Y label, just about read the title, just about read the legend. But really, these fonts are a little bit too small and quite hard to read. So taking the MATLAB default option is perhaps not right. With my corrected one, you can see that the fonts are all very clear all very easy to read. The lines are all very clear. Now you might argue I've gone over the top and made these fonts a little bit too big, but obviously the point of this presentation is to emphasize the point that the MATLAB default, which is this one here, is really not good enough. The fonts are a bit too small and not clear enough to the reader. So, <coughs> how did we achieve this? So let's go back to the MATLAB window and show you how we achieve this. So if you look in this figure, you'll notice what I've done is I have specifically set everything that I need to set in my code. So I've plotted my lines here, line 19, and then I've said make the lines width 2. Make the marker size as 10, or 10 is an arbitrary number, but I've forced it in my code as a default. I've then said this line here, make all the axis labels or the X ticks to be font size 16. I've said makes the X label to be font size 16. Make the Y label font size 16. Make the legend font size 16. And similarly, make the title font size 16. Now I can change if I don't like that, if I'm going to say, oh, well, perhaps that's a bit too big, I could go here and I could say, all right, let's try 14. If I think 16 was a bit too big, let's go here. And let's try 14. So we've put 14 everywhere except in the title because that's off the screen and let's run it again. So you can see now I've gone to 14 they're not quite as big as they were before maybe that's the size that I want maybe I'm happy with that. The key thing is by putting them in the code like this it's very quick and easy to make a change until I've got it roughly right. So I've started with this small window so that when I copy it into Word or PowerPoint, I'm not having to resize the window. So what it looks like now is what it will look like when I put it into my Word or my PowerPoint or my poster. And then I just have to say, how big do I want these to look once I copy it across? OK. So the core principles. The font sizes, the marker sizes, the line widths and the legends are all written as code in the M file. This means it's easy to make minor edits and reproduce the plot in seconds until you get just the size you need. And we've shown that you can look at the MATLAB Basics 11 file and you can play around with that to see this for yourself. So what do you lose by having these smaller windows? Well you'll notice the figure with thicker lines and larger font has fewer grid lines, fewer X ticks and fewer Y ticks. And this is because we've basically gone a single, 
Assume that the A4 is double column and assume the figure is going to fit into one of those columns. So let's go back and you can look at the figure. So you can see here these labels or these X ticks are fairly well spread. Whereas if I took the MATLAB default, which was here, you can see I've got far more of these ticks. So your option is to decide what exactly is it you want? How much detail do you need? Are you happy, in fact, for the column to be full column width of the A4 paper, which is quite big for most reports, but it might be you need lots of detail, and therefore that's what you want to do. So here's my recommendation. To achieve this, you'll see the key point here, do not touch your M file. So your M file is set to have certain font sizes, certain line widths, and so on. Simply expand the figure window on your screen before copying, as then the font sizes will stay as you want when you copy them into Word. So let's go back and demonstrate this. So here I've got my MATLAB Basics 11. I can um, better put these back to, oh no, actually I'll leave them on 14, it doesn't matter. So let's run that file. So here's the window I like because I've got the font sizes I want. So all I'm going to do is take this window and make it bigger. There we are. You see I've made it bigger. And I've said, OK, now you'll see I've got more X ticks. As I make it bigger, MATLAB automatically gives me more X ticks, more Y ticks. And you can see the title doesn't look quite so um, dominant. So now if I copy this figure and go to my Word document, there we go. And you can see we've got an example here, but we'll demonstrate it's the same one. And now you see it's going pretty much across the whole width, but the key point is my labels are still roughly the right font size. They're still readable, they're not too small, they're not too big. So how did I achieve this? I made sure the font sizes were right in the MATLAB window, and then when I copied them across to Word, I wasn't having to resize the figure, everything was right. And there's the example in the PowerPoint. So if you compare this in the work, Word document with a small alternative, one works best half column and the other works best full column. And the difference was how big was the window on my screen before I copied it. Now, just as a final reminder, obviously I've embedded into the code all of the line widths and the font sizes and things. You can edit these with property property editor if you want to, but the disadvantage of doing things through property editor is it's not particularly repeatable and it's hard to save, whereas if you put it in the source code, you can just change a number in the source code, press F5, and your figure's reproduced in its entirety. So conclusions. We already know that MATLAB can produce good quality plots for display, but the user has to think through carefully the size of the figure will be in the report presentation or poster before they produce it. So my basic suggestion is to make the MATLAB figure window the size you want the image to be in the final report. Then in the code, force all the font sizes to be large enough, so that's going to be around 12 to 16. Force the line widths to be large enough, which is typically around 2. And now the copied figure will automatically have all its labels and detail about the right size so you can read them. And if you put everything in the code, it's easy to edit the code directly to make minor changes as required.